Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a look using all the makeup that I have received from past BoxyCharms. I have them all right here. I have a ton of products to choose from and I'm also only going to be using BoxyCharm brushes that they have sent over and BoxyCharm sponges. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with primer. I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I did receive this in one of my more recent BoxyCharm boxes. And it's honestly one of like my favorite primers. I had already used this prior to receiving it and I absolutely love it. It's great for blurring out pores. And I feel like it just leaves your skin so nice and smooth. And moving on to foundation, of course they can't, you know, handpick a foundation for every person that purchased a boxy charm box. But they did send over a foundation brush that I will be trying out. It is from Crown Brushes and it looks like this. And you just apply your foundation like so. And if that doesn't work out, I also have my pure sponges that I haven't used yet. So I have both of those to try out. So I'm just putting my foundation on my mixing tray and just dotting it on. You guys know I normally use my stippling brush, but I figured I would just do this to really see how that brush blends out my foundation. So it's really easy to like move around the foundation, which I personally like. I forget that you have to like swipe. I want to like pat because <laughs> I'm so used to like sponges. I've never been the one to like use brushes to apply my foundation. It doesn't look that bad, but I'm not like really a fan of it. Like it is a bit streaky. So I already went ahead and wet my sponge and look at the difference. Like look how big it gets once it's wet, which is expected for a sponge to grow once it is wet. So let me just further blend out this foundation because it's way too streaky for my liking. So now moving on to concealer, I have this concealer collection palette by Measurable Difference and it looks like this. This one I believe was in the April box so I'm going to go ahead and use these concealers on my face. I am extremely nervous so I'm just going to apply it with my finger. And then I'm kind of going to go in with the vanilla shade as well. I feel like with your finger it works best because you kind of warm up the product and kind of get it ready to blend out. Let's see. Oh yeah, with the brush it does not blend out. It's really thick, actually. So the nose wasn't that bad. It blended out pretty well. Now let's see the under eye. Okay, so this concealer is blended out, but as you guys can see, it's still like very harsh. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of my own concealer to try and fix this because this is horrible. So I'm going in with my CoverGirl Outlast concealer. And to set that, I'm going to be using this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. I received this in the May box which looks like this and in that video I had mentioned that this is kind of similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm just going to be going in with these two so highlight two and highlight three so this powder is actually really nice and it feels like really smooth and this palette does come with a pretty nice mirror it's actually really nice. And BoxyCharm has sent setting powders before. They sent this Your Mineral Sweden setting powder a long time ago. Like I want to say a year and a half ago it was featured in one of their boxes. Or it may, may have been like longer ago. Um, this powder was 
just too much like it was too heavy on my under eye and it gave a really bad white cast and same goes for the Ofra pressed powder oil control I'm not an oily person so I think that's why and I set my entire face and under eye with it and it gave me a really bad white cast so that's why I'm not using these because I don't want to mess up my makeup and next I want to try this temp 2 and boxy charm collaboration it's their liquid glow it says shake well and I did not set my entire face yet so I'm just gonna put this on like the high points where you know your highlight regularly goes I'm dabbing it onto my finger and applying it and blending it out with my sponge I would say I'm gonna use this by mixing it into my foundation because I don't really see that much of like a glow so I'm kind of disappointed in this just because I thought it was gonna be like a blinding glow because the swatch is really pretty but on my skin I don't know like it doesn't really show up in my opinion and I feel like it kind of rubbed off some of my foundation. And as for this sponge, this pure sponge, I feel like has helped my makeup so much. It blended out my foundation, concealer, and that highlight nicely. So I have nothing bad to say about this. I love the size and like how squishy it is. It is a bit more dense than like the beauty blender, but I mean, it's a great sponge. I'm gonna be using these a lot more now that I've actually tried them out on camera. And I'm just gonna set my face with my number seven loose face powder since I don't want to use the other ones that I haven't had such a great experience with. And now moving on to brows, I'm going to go ahead and use this brow gal which was in the May Boxy Charm and using the brush that it came with. And I'm going to be using these two colors to fill in my brows. I think I found like my new favorite powder really easy to use like I had mentioned it's very user friendly because even if you apply a little too much you can easily take the spoolie or even the brush and kind of flick it upwards and it blends so fast and it's extremely pigmented which is something I really look for in a brow product uh, I don't want it to kind of be like so so brown or kind of patchy because there have been brow products that I've used that were powders that were a bit patchy but this one was great now I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up the skin. I'm going to use the same contour palette, but they previously had sent a different bronzer, and this is the Pure Cosmetics Bronzer. It's a Mineral Glow bronzing powder, and it's a beautiful color. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's such a good one, and the color is beautiful. It's very easy to work with, extremely blendable, but I have used this on camera a lot, so that's why I wanna test out this one. And I will be going in with contour two, and kind of mixing it with a little bit of contour three. So the contours in this palette are actually really easy to work with as well. So this palette is definitely a good one. I'm really happy that they included it in their May box because it's actually really, really good. And I was kind of skeptical about it, but totally worth it. And they did send over this brush in a past box, the Crown Brush. SS023 Jumbo Kabuki Fan Brush and they were saying that you could contour with this, bronze with this, add blush and highlight. 
Um, I don't know how you could really like bronze the skin with this because it's so like skinny but I think I will try and highlight with this and see how that goes. So since they haven't brought out a blush in a box yet, I'm going to be using just a simple blush. This is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Rose Champagne blush. But I do hope that sometime soon they bring out either a blush shade or a blush palette. That would be really nice. And I am going to do a little bit of eyeshadow, something very simple, but I'm going to show you guys some of the palettes that I have received. This is the Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. This was, I believe, in like November or December that it came out, I want to say. Um, very beautiful palette. Then you guys have seen this one already, the Naked Cosmetics palette. I used this green in a tutorial. Extremely Pigmented Shadows. Another one I received is this IBY Beauty, which I will be using today. Very simple palette. These two are very beautiful shimmers and a nice matte brown shade. And one of the more recent ones was this. BoxyCharm teamed up with Z Palette and they sent you a mini Z Palette and then two Makeup Geek shadows. And to apply that, I will be using some of the brushes that have been featured in past BoxyCharm boxes. So for my shadow, like I said, I'm keeping it very simple and I'm going to just be taking Desert Sands on a Luxie 205 tapered blending brush. Ever since trying out Luxie brushes, they have seriously become some of my favorite brushes. These are the only three I own from that brand and literally you will see me probably use these brushes in almost every single one of my tutorials because they are just that good and make blending so much easier. The quality is definitely there. They're so easy to use and blend out your makeup. I definitely want to purchase more because I've fallen in love with like the three that I have. And then I'm going to be going in with the IBY Beauty palette using this shade with the same brush and just applying it on like the outer portion of the lid and a little bit onto the crease and further blending that out with my favorite brush, the Luxie 229 tapered blending brush. And I'm also going to take that color and put it on my lower lash line with my Modern Minerals You Are Gorgeous brush. It's the perfect brush to use for your lower lash line or any detail work because of the shape of it. And for my lid, I'm going to be taking this like pink champagne color and from my Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to be using my Royal and Le Nickel Ammonia Balm 40 shader brush to apply it, this shadow. And I love this brush because of its size. Like it's so easy to just apply it all onto the lid. It isn't too small or too big. It's like just the right size, at least for my eye shape. And I'm going to be using this shade right here for my brow bone. And I'm going to use my Rowan Le Nickel Omanaya Bomber 18 Detail Brush to do so. And going back into my IBY palette and taking that white shade right here and using it as an inner corner highlight with my same Royal and Le Nickel Detail Brush. And now going in with highlights, there's this Vintage by Jessica Lebiscid, um in the shade Rose Gold. This is too pink and like too much for me, so I'm actually going to use it as a blush topper. Mine broke, so it's kind of ugly, but I fixed it with rubbing alcohol. And it just gives like a beautiful sheen to the face. And another highlighter that we've received is this Vintage, also by the same 
person and it's in the shade rose quartz and chocolate diamond but I will not be using this one because you guys have seen me use it a couple of times. I'm actually going to be using a different highlight, the Ofra Highlight in Rodeo Drive. I believe this was in April's box. And I could use the So Susan brush that was in, I believe, my January BoxyCharm. But I'm actually going to use my crown brush first and then probably use the So Susan one. So you really have to be careful when applying highlight with this brush because it kind of applies it like thickly if that makes sense. So kind of blend it out. And I actually didn't end up using this brush. It's not one of my favorites just because of how skinny that is. Like can you guys see that? Like that's so skinny. I want my highlight to be a little bit more noticeable rather than just like a small stripe. But this is nice for like if you want to just add a little bit and make it like a pop. So I went ahead and applied mascara off camera because that's one of the things that has not been featured in a boxy charm recently is a mascara. So I used one of my own and we're almost done with this look. The only thing we are missing is a lip color. So boxy charm has featured plenty of lip colors before. There's this one by Ofra which is called Napa Valley. Definitely not a color I would wear, but it's, you know, nice to have in a collection for different tutorials. There's these two by the brand Real Her. This one's kind of like a liquid lip and like a wine color. And same with the lip liner. Another one is from Real Her in the shade Mauve. Which is a really pretty color. This one I've already featured in a favorites video because it's literally that good and it's such a pretty color. And a newer one is, I believe I got this in my April Boxy Charm, is this lip gloss by Cargo in the shade Umbria, I believe that's how you pronounce it. So I'm going to be using these two, this one by Real Her in the shade Mauve and the Cargo Lip Gloss. This one is such a moisturizing lipstick and it's such a pretty color as well. And so those were all the products that I have received in my boxy charms. I believe I've been receiving these since like November of 2000 and 16. I was previously subscribed to BoxyCharm a couple years back and then unsubscribed and then once I knew I was going to start my YouTube channel that's when I subscribed in like October November of last year and I honestly have to say it's probably the best way of getting makeup without having to spend so much money because as you guys saw there were a lot of hits in this video like almost 90% of all the makeup I used and all the products and brushes I love there were just a couple that weren't great So for the subscription service, I definitely recommend it in this video like I'm doing it not sponsored or anything like that uh, Obviously like of course not I'm doing it because a lot of these products that I get from boxycharm I use them in like my day-to-day -day life, but I feel like a lot of these I hadn't used on camera because I had so many other videos going up that I didn't have time to touch those. And I'm so happy that I was finally able to get my hands on these products because they were such good products. Like these, the brushes I love, the makeup, a lot of the lip products, face products especially are very expensive and the brushes as well. And it's like you're going to spend $21 on a box or you know $40 $50 on just one product that you received in this box so it's crazy and you get five products per box and I know they do skincare and like fragrances and all that I didn't want to include that in this video I just wanted to make it simply all makeup and I honestly love how my makeup turned out and it's all boxy charm makeup besides foundation mascara and like the under eye concealer that I kind of had to go in with a little more because my under eyes were a bit too white and blush those were the only four things that I used that were my own and everything else was from my boxy charm which is crazy I created a full look on you know just makeup that I have previously received from my boxes which I think is pretty cool I love how this look turned out it's a pretty simple kind of like everyday look very simple on the eyes simple on the skin 
glowy highlight which I personally love that highlight um, I believe that highlight alone retails for like 30 almost $40 they do have Ofer does have a lot of coupon codes with influencers but um, even then it's still pricey so yeah a lot of the products that you guys get in these boxes and subscri subscription services are great products that's why I wanted to you know specifically focus on all the makeup that I've received in BoxyCharm and I love it I think their makeup is really good and it's a great way of again accumulating makeup because as you guys can see like this is a full bin of just BoxyCharm makeup and it's missing all the lip products so let me put those in and I mean that's a lot of makeup and that's a lot of money as well that I mean I really didn't have to spend because five products come per each box so I mean it's totally worth it and not to mention all the brushes and sponges that they do send you um, every other month or just whatever the theme ends up being and whatever products they choose are the ones they send you and yeah so I hope you guys like this video let me know if you guys would like to see another one of these videos or if you guys have any other suggestions if you guys want to see another one of these videos I do have to wait a little bit on doing it because this was about six seven months worth of like boxycharm makeup but um yeah definitely let me know if you guys like these types of videos and I will continue to do them and don't forget to like and subscribe and also do not forget that I do have a giveaway going on right now I will have the video linked down below and also um how to enter the giveaway i'm gonna be giving away one of the beauty and the beast i'll have it like inserted here it's like a collector's item that was exclusive to italy and i bought two so one for one of you and one for me so uh yeah don't forget to sign up for that giveaway to see if you can win and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye